Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be real with you guys. Like, I feel like that Eminem video I just did on the main channel. Like, let's be real. I can call a spade a spade. And like, obviously, I, I'm very, I'm very grateful when people check in and watch my videos. Um, but for me, it was kind of a flop. Like, I ain't gonna front. It was kind of a flop. Like I was just, ex I think I was just expecting more people to check in and watch that. Like, it's not all about the numbers and the money, but I would say that, like, to be honest, my goal really is to try and make like big videos that really hit and a, a million people want to watch. Like, it's not just like, oh, I just want a million for my ego, maybe a little bit, but like, really, it's like I'm trying to make videos. I'm trying to cover stories. Like, I'm trying to be smart enough to pick stories that a million people want to see, and it's like. You know, I've got a skill for editing, research, putting together videos, all that good stuff. And I just want to make sure that I'm picking the best stories so that I know a lot of people are going to be interested and that my work is worthwhile. Like, my work is worth the time. And, you know, I'd been on a really good run. It was funny. I had a really, I had a weird year because uh, that Crip Mac interview was like the last thing I did in 2021. I did this uh, New York Gang War Where Are They Now video and that kind of like didn't really hit. And I think I know that that didn't hit because essentially, um, essentially like that was like a derivative of another video i think for for me like I'll, I'll i'll i could just get into detail of like what i think makes a good video like for me i think a good video recently and like here i went on a run of you know everything's got at least a million views like this six six video run and that was a whole year i basically spent the whole year just working on a select few videos and doing them really well and like hit they all hit and uh for me it's like i want the video to be comprehensive it's like i want it to cover literally everything that's happened in a situation like the murder in a montclair video the the k flock situation i wanted to cover every single detail about that story i wanted to leave no stone unturned i wanted to cover everything and i wanted to take it if you knew nothing about the bronx drill scene for you to just understand everything and i feel like i achieved that and then again it's like hit the kanye and kim video that was kind of like you know i was trying to like hit hit on something that was current and popular the kanye kim like whole meltdown that was going on publicly but at the same time um not do a, a gang violence video not that like i i let people get in my head about the whole gang violence thing it's like on the one hand you know like i understand that you know it's a serious thing to talk about like i understand that like not everybody wants me talking about gang violence. You know, people say, oh, it's wrong that you're covering these situations and these are real people's lives. But like, this is real journalism and I'm really trying to do justice to these situations. Like, we can't undo what happened with K-Flock and the shooting, right? Like, we can't undo that Draco the Ruler got killed at a show. He was a musician trying to perform in front of his fans and he got murdered backstage trying to get to the stage to perform in front of his fans. As a Draco fan, I should be able to talk about that. I should be able to look into the situation, talk about what happened, talk about his career, talk about why he was so important, like why he was so interesting, and make a gosh dang video about it. You know what I mean? So it's like, I let it get in my head sometimes, the whole thing. I mean, at the same time, it's like people are like, oh, you know, you shouldn't be able to make money off of all this Chicago gang violence. But then Von can make a song about how he's smoking Tuca and that he, he smoked a pretty op bitch and that he kills all these people. And the guy was shining with $100,000 chains, putting hits on people with his money. But, like, some quality journalism for me, that's a problem. But anyway, I, I don't really think into that too much. But what I was saying, really, about the videos is it was like... I felt I was on a really good run of picking really good stories that were, like, really worthy of a, of a two-and-a-half-hour deep dive. And so I did the Cameron Terrell story. That was, like, a shorter one because I, I just lost my main editor... I needed basically an opportunity to make a quick short video, but on a topic that I was personally really interested in that I could just focus on for a week and, and just like get done and try out this new editor. And that was a win for me. But even this video, I didn't feel it was actually in line with like what I was really trying to achieve in the in the run up to this. But then the Eminem and King, Kim thing kind of spun me because to be honest, like it was sort of a it's sort of a companion piece to the Kim and Kanye video. It's it's like a long relationship deep dive, which it's, you know, it's kind of a weird thing, I guess, to cover. But, um, like, to me, the the song Kim, and even the fact, like, the Marshall Mathers LP, it's, like, you know, one of the highest-selling hip-hop albums in history. Like, Eminem is the most highest-selling rap artist in history. 
And just like to me, I just felt like that Eminem and Kim story is like one of the most iconic hip hop stories in, in the game. And I really wanted to just go deep on that story. And I see in the chat, no one is checking for M like that. And they're not. But then when M drops a song, it goes crazy. I love Eminem. Like I, I, I wanted to spend my time. Obviously, I have my appendix out. I couldn't work for a bit. Um, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, man, I, I put that to get video together. I'm super proud of it. I think it's a fire video. I think nobody has ever done a deep dive into Eminem's career as much as this. Like to me, this is like the premier Eminem deep dive into actually like what happened in his career, his relationship that essentially inspired nearly all of his music. Like so much of his music's inspired by his relationship with his with Kim, with his mother, all that stuff. And so, like, I'm super proud of this video, but at the same time, I think I missed the mark as far as story selection. Like, I think I kind of picked, I picked a story that I think it, it, it's not, it's just not relevant to today's rap game. And I think, um, I think the thing is, it's like, even like the No Limit thing, for example, it's like at the time that I made that story, like G Herbo wasn't really on like a press tour or he wasn't really like super promoting a, 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 a project. It was like quite a few months later than he, he was releasing something. But, um like because that no limit story exists in this time when like drill music is the biggest thing in hip-hop and like gangster rap is kind of like just having this huge resurgence like, i understand why people were interested in that um but like yeah man i i, I kind of missed the mark with the eminem and kim thing i've learned a lot from it but naturally y'all know when uh y'all know that i've got a von video that i'm working on you know what i'm saying y'all know that uh I just got a few bangers. I got a list of stories that I'm 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 working on over on the wall over there. But I need to I need to just speed it up, man. I need to find a way of making videos quicker. I just can't. I like. I love what I do, and I lo I I love just sitting around for two months learning about a, a hip hop situation. But like, let's be real. I'm trying to drop more videos, man. I need to drop way more often. Like, I need to get back to it. I need to get back to it, gang. And um. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm about to do. So I got some big ideas coming. I got some banger videos coming. And if they're just going to take as long as they're going to take, but I'm just going to try and focus and speed it up. My plan is, no, nah, I'm even going to say, but Von video coming next. And then after that, we're going to get a little something going. It's going to be exciting, gang. <laughs>